Come in, brother. I want to speak to you. I have a question for you. We have some things that we want to share with you. Listen good. Listen to what he's saying. Read it again from the top. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You got to come close, brother, so you can hear him. You can't hear him from there. All right? I want you to listen. Read it again so the brother can hear you. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. So what do we want you to hear today? We want you to hear the words of the Lord that we're speaking out of this Bible. That's what we want you to hear today, right? What does the Lord have to say to us? That's what you should be thinking, right? Read. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Lord said he got a problem. He got a problem with who? The nation of Israel, the so-called Blacks and Spanish Native Americans, right? Yes, right? What's your name, brother? Mars Gray. Ma I can't hear you. Mars Gray. Mars Gray. Why do you think the Lord has a problem with the Blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans today? The Latinos. Why, why does the Lord have a problem with us? What's going on in our communities that stands out, that's peculiar, right? That's, that's different from what's going on everywhere else that would make our father upset with us. What's going on? Black on black, killing black. Black on black, killing blacks. Now you said that, right? Now I'm going to read the scripture and you tell me who this is talking about. All right? You following me? Read on. Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge. Is there mercy in the black community today? Mercy. Do we show each other mercy? Or do we hold grudges with each other? Which one do we do? Grudges. We hold grudges with each other, right? Now, what does that lead to? If, I, if I'm angry at you for something, and I'm upset, and I can't forgive you for it, eventually, what am I going to do? I'm um, It leads to what? Killing. Very good. Very good. It leads to killing. Is that not what's going on in Rocky Mount? All the time. All the time. Right? Why? Because there's no what? Come on. Because there is no truth. No what? No truth. No what? No truth. The Bible says that there's no truth where? Come on. Nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. There's no truth, mercy, or knowledge of God in the land. Do you believe that? Now I'm going to ask you another question. Right? Because we want to learn the knowledge of God. Right? You want to know what the knowledge of God is? Truth according to the Bible is keeping God's laws. Did you know that? That's what truth is according to the Bible. Get that in songs for me. We're going to come back right, right back to where we are. All right? Now we have to learn God's laws if we want to make a difference in this land that we're living in. Read what you got. Psalms 147. All right, we have to learn God's laws if we want truth to be in this land. Otherwise, what are we going to have? Lies. You see that right over there? What's that? What's that right there? That pink, that pink place. What are they selling over there? What are they selling right there in that? In that? Say it again. What kind of baskets are they? Baskets for who? For blacks? To give who? You, you may not know. It's a hol it's a hol it's a holiday coming up a holiday. What is it? What are those baskets for? They for who? Right. You know what that means? That's worshiping the woman. That's what that's for. That's a lie that's in this land. A lot of this killing that's going on in Rocky Mount is going on because a lot of lies in this land, and no one's standing up to do anything about it. No one's standing up to do anything about it, right? If you want to bring truth to this land. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Read what you got. The Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Come on. He showed his word unto Jacob. What does the Bible say? He showed his word unto Jacob. God said he showed his word. This Bible is only for you, my brother. It's only for you. It's only for you and your people, the Israelites. All right, come on. That's right. He showed his word unto Jacob, his, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He show up his word unto Israel, right? I want the truth in 119. Four, yeah, read that, please. Book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 20. Because it's a lot of lies out here, right? What do we need to replace the lies? We need truth, right? Come on. Verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness 
is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law. Thy what? And thy law. Thy what? Thy law. Thy law. You understand? Thy law. Did you know God has laws? Did you do you understand that if you break God's laws, there's punishments for that? They, they all there always is, right? So we want to show you some of God's laws. We want to remind you of God's laws, right? Because when you look around at Rocky Mount, it's a lot of killing going on out here, right? It's a lot of murdering going on out here, right? It's a lot of men having sex with women and not marrying these sisters. A lot of that's going on right here in Rocky Mount. Why is that? Because there's no truth here. It's a bunch of lies. You see that? That's a lie right there. That's all, all these are lies. What? And thy law is the truth. Exodus chapter 20. Honor your father and your mother. All right? We want to we wanna speak to you okay. about some truth. I got it. All right? All right? I understand that, but this is what you need. Mm -hmm. All right? So listen good. Because we're going we gonna to be out here teaching for hours. For hours. For hours. We're going to be out here teaching for hours. So listen good. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Come on. Honor thy father and thy mother. What does the Bible say? Honor thy father and thy mother. The Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother. Do you believe that? Is that something that we should do today? Right? How do you honor your father? Having respect for him, right? Now, if you if you can't have respect for your father, are you gonna be able to have respect for your brother? No. Are you gonna be able to have respect for your uncle? Are you going to be able, be able to have respect for your neighbor? No, you're not, right? So we, we, we practice respect by doing what our father tells us to do. That makes sense, right? right? What, now, what are we reading right now? The Bible, right? right? A way that you honor God when we're reading this Bible is by removing your hat. You understand that? When you keep your head on your head, that's showing disrespect to the law. That's in the Bible. That's a law. You understand? So if you wanted to practice honoring God, what would you do? You would take your head off, right? Right? Right, so, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. We're gonna be out here teaching for hours, bro. All right? We hope, we hope that you don't leave here and, and, and judgment comes your way. That's what we don't want to happen. All right? All right, this may be your escape to the judgment to come. That's right. You understand that, right? All right, before you leave, I'm going to get one thing for you. Matthew chapter 19. All right? Matthew chapter 19. Before you leave. All right? Before you leave, I want you to understand this. Because you want to get the kingdom of God, right? Read what you got. Book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 1. 16. Verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, Come on. what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Do you want to have eternal life? Do you want to get the kingdom of heaven? Or do you want to burn in hell? You want to get the kingdom of heaven, right? Do you think it's just going to be given to everybody or do you got to work for it? No, I got to work for it. All right, what type of things do you have to do? We're going to show you, listen, come on. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There was none good but one. It's only one that's good, right? And who was that? That's the most high God. That's the most high God. All right? That's the Father. That's the only one. This is his son speaking. Come on. That is God. Now, did Christ honor his father? He did honor his father. How did he honor his father? Because he did everything that his father said to do. Right? Come on. But if thou will enter into life, keep the commandment. Now, Christ is telling you how to get the kingdom of heaven. If you want to enter in, to heaven, if you want access to the kingdom for eternal life to live forever, right? What do you have to do? Keep the commandments. The Bible says you have to keep the commandments, right? One of those one of those commandments is honoring your father and your mother. That's a that's a commandment that you have to keep, right? And when you celebrate Mother's Day, all right, you're not just honoring your father and your mother, all right. You've turned your mother into an idol, all right? And that's not right, according to the Bible. How do you honor your father and your mother? By respecting them every day. Not disrespecting them 364 days out of the year. And one of those days, you get her a basket, 
with some candy and some roses in it and say, Happy Mother's Day. That, that's not honoring your, your, your parents. That's right. Right? We, we've convinced ourselves that that's, that's, that's how I honor the people that I love. Right? I, I do it on this day that was chosen by my enemies, all right, for me to give them money, all right, to make my, my, my mother and my father feel good. My father and my mother. No, that's not right according to the Bible. You honor your parents by doing what they tell you to do every single day, right? But you know, you know what happens? You know what happens? That correction that, that, that we receive becomes what? What does it become to us when our parents correct us for certain things? Do we want to listen to them? Get Proverbs 15 and 10. Do we want to listen to them? Is that where you at? Where you at? What you got? What you got? Oh, yeah, 15-4. Are we going to get that next? Read you guys. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 4. Come on. For God commanded, saying, honor thy father and mother. You heard that? This is Christ speaking. This is one of those commandments he said you have to keep to get the kingdom. If you want to get the kingdom, you got to do what? Honor your father and your mother. Come on. And he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. He that does what? He that curseth. Father or mother, let him die the death. You know how we curse our parents? We say, I hate you. You heard kids say that to their parents before? Right? Right, all types of evil. The same father, mother, that, did, that taught you how to tie your shoes, wipe your butt, fed you, went to work while you were sleeping. You understand? Now, can we pay that back with one day? No. You don't even read about that day in this Bible. That's right. You read about God's high holy days. Right. And all of God's high holy days revolve around him keeping his commandments. We got a just God. That God is not going to give you commandments to disrespect your parents. Right. If you are keeping God's commandments, you're going to be honoring your father and your mother. If you're keeping his commandments. Read on. Verse 5. Come on. But ye say... Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift. It is what? It is a gift. We try to give gifts. You understand? Give gifts. Right? To who? Sometimes to our parents. Right? Sometimes we try to give gifts to our parents on Mother's Day, on Father's Day. Right? And you know what we do some, uh, other times? Like the rest of the 364 days throughout a year? Right? You know what we do other times? The rest of the 364 days of the year? You listening? Yeah. Read. Verse 5. Come on. But ye say, whosoever <laughs> shall say to, it, to his father or his mother, it is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. We say, look, I got other things to do with my time. So I can't honor you right now. I got other things to do with my money. All right? So I can't give it to you right now. That's what we do the 364 days throughout the year when it's not Mother's Day, when it's not Father's Day, right? Ain't that what we do? And then we come back one day out of the week and we say, hey, I got something for you. Here you go. I got something for you, right? I love you, but I ain't listen to nothing you said. I ain't follow none of your instructions. I ain't keep none of your commandments, but I love you. That's a lie. That's what you see out here in the land. Right. Lies. Lies. Right? You know what it produces? You know what it produces? Angry men. Right. Emotional men. Right. You understand? Broken households. Right? What did, what did it start with? Not keeping God's commandments. Right? Not honoring your father and your mother. Instead, you said, I don't have to honor my mother. I don't have to honor my father. I can just give them a gift on Mother's Day. I can give them a gift on Christmas. I give them a gift on their birthday. You don't read about any of that stuff in this Bible. It's not there at all. That's breaking God's commandments. When you break God's commandments, guess what? He has judgments for you. Judgments for you. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.